What is happening? We started with water, then we added blue crystals, then we plugged it into the outlet through this weird mesh, and that's supposed to make sulfuric acid? How in the heck is this working? Well, that's what I'll explain in this video. Exactly how to make sulfuric acid using this method. But first, we started with water. Okay, so here's what sulfuric acid looks like. This molecule, this is sulfuric acid molecule, and here's what our blue crystals look like, copper sulfate. Well, isn't that convenient? So what we'd like to do is we'd like to remove this copper somehow and add to hydrogen. So how? Well, let's start with removing copper. It is bonded ionically to the sulfate, and what that means is our copper has two positive charges and our sulfate has two negative charges. And that's what's basically holding them together, just like two different sides of a magnet. So how do we break it down? Well, we can do it by introducing negative charge. So we add in two electrons to the copper and... Oh no, we're left with only one side of the magnet and the copper floats away. Okay, cool. Half of the reaction is done. Now all we need to do is just get some hydrants, but... How? Well, here's an idea. Water. You see, if you take water and introduce positive charge, then that's taking electrons away. And if we take those electrons away, then these bonds break. We end up with these four electrons, four hydrogen ions, and two oxygens. But this is extremely high in energy, like insanely high in energy. Atoms really don't like having extremely high energy. So what's going to happen next? Well, what's going to happen next is pretty cool, because in our universe, things don't really like having energy. That's why a ball with a high potential energy will fall, a cube with kinetic energy will lose it with temperature, and our atoms with extremely high chemical energy want to, well, do what exactly? Ideally, they'd like to roll down to this state, which is water, really low energy. However, we don't have enough electrons to reach this, and that's why instead of going this way, our atoms go another way and form oxygen gas, a bit higher in energy than water, but the best option possible for our atoms, except our hydrogens. You see, what positive hydrogen ion means is no electrons. They have no electrons. So whilst our oxygens are relatively fine with just bonding into gas, our hydrogens are beyond unstable. Hydrogen ions are way higher in energy than hydrogens alone, which are still way higher than hydrogen gas. And so they will do practically anything, anything to get into a stable molecule. And oh, would you look at that? What do we have here? Two positively charged hydrogen ions and a sulfate molecule with two negative charges. Well, isn't that convenient? And even though it's a bit of an oversimplification, that's basically how we create our sulfuric acid. We have two copper sulfate molecules and two water molecules. We introduce four electrons to pull copper away, and on the other side we pull four electrons out of the water to create oxygen gas and four hydrogen ions. And then these merge together. The two molecules of sulfuric acid. Sick. Here's a simple animation showcasing the full reaction. That's called electrolysis. This process right here. And what's really nice is that based on this, we can actually calculate everything for this reaction. And that's because this is the first step. But then we add... So first things first, copper sulfate. A single copper sulfate molecule weighs 265 yoctograms. Now a single molecule of sulfuric acid weighs 162 yoctograms. So for each 265 grams of copper sulfate we add in, we should get back 162 grams of sulfuric acid. But there is more, because another thing we also know is how many electrons we need to add in. And because of how electricity works, we will get the same amount out. And blah blah blah, one thing is to another. The point is, for each molecule of sulfuric acid, we need two electrons. And we have a unit called ampere, which measures... which means we're over the materials, and we can talk about how we then plugged it into the...
So there's been some complications. I mean, as you can clearly tell, there is no more time lapse or anything. There's been some complications. So what's the problem? Well, here's the thing. First of all, the last thing we made is not exactly super casted. It's blue, which it shouldn't be. It was clear, but then when I, you know, water away from it, then it turned blue because there was still clearly some copper something left. Now, here's the problem with this one. First of all, I have a cover. Why? Because there's a gas. There's a gas coming off it. I'm pretty certain it's either sulfur dioxide or sulfur trioxide. Both are pretty bad for you. Now, second, right here, there is a diode blinking. It shouldn't be blinking. Now, one of these has been electrolyzing for a week. Can you tell me which one? So here's the question. Are we actually making sulfuric acid? Well, let's think about this, shall we? First, we can start the ingredients, which is H2O and copper sulfate. Then, what do we do? Phenomenal question. We do two things, alright? It's the electrodes. One thing, two things. Beautiful. So, we take those and we electrolyze them. What does that mean? Well, it means that negative, right? It is so just copper right here on the copper electrode. Then, these four are so very nice here. Just been walking uh, on this, trying to still figure out why it's behaving like it's behaving. I'm assuming it's it's going well. I uh, it's actually pretty annoying, you know. There, I'm not smart enough to figure. I'm not smart enough to even know if I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe it's all going according to plan. Maybe I just have to wait a bit longer. If you've been wondering why I haven't uploaded anything in such a long time, that's why. I have another video, which I should make. But I'm stuck on this. You see, with every project you make, there is this moment where you don't really know if it's gonna work. Maybe you should just quit while you're behind. The truth is, I'm... I should probably just keep going. I mean, how long could this possibly take? This is gonna cut to me in like... Or maybe make it... How about you... Turn it on before you try to fix anything. So my fixes go... Okay. <clears throat> there.
so there we go. Not sulfuric acid. It's clearly impure and not perfect. I didn't really have anything to check its concentration, nor its quality, its purity. All I had was sugar. This is how concentrated sulfuric acid reacts with sugar. And ideally, that's what should happen with my sugar right here. The problem is, <laughs> when I added sulfuric acid to sugar, nothing happened. And I do mean nothing. There was some bubbling in the beginning, but it didn't change color, didn't burn anything. It was just there. But since the camera was already there, I thought, you know what? Might as well keep it rolling for 40-50 more minutes. 